Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our game with Portugal. So as I said uh, in the last one I actually removed all of uh, the frigates and the caravels and the early frigates and the barks. We still had barks for crying out loud and uh, I removed them all and apparently we need 48 well we'll need a bit more we need uh, 64 uh, light ships to make for the 100 uh, that I said we would require and I'm actually going to build four more heavy ships to this fleet so we'll have 150 patrolling this sea lane it's probably overkill but considering that we lost a battle against uh, a sea battle against Great Britain I am really not in the mood for uh, chances so we have this guy there, I'm going to take them out and put them there. I'm actually going to leave these guys still alive and still patrolling, but split uh, from uh, the main fleet. As you can see, if this fleet uh, uh, gets destroyed, well, that's fine, fine by me. Uh, we have a ton of uh, papal influence, we'll uh, get this guy and put them all the way to 97, so that's, that is good. Uh, so let's get right on it. We need 64. Uh, so we need 64. It's it's a ton. I'm actually going to build four guys of these first, four of these guys first, uh, rather, and then I'll build uh, the heavy frigates. So we have five provinces, uh, and well, it means 12 plus on everyone uh, plus something. So let's get uh, this all the way up to 13. And now we'll put uh, two on each for now. Well, actually there are three. Well, let's put all, all the way there. Like this. And in here, nope. There we go, there, 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 there. There. All right, I'm actually not sure how many were there. Uh, let's see, uh, so one, two, three, four uh, heavy ships so 6 12 uh, 17 well yeah 30 something I'm really not in the mood for uh, uh, doing to do this so military power we are gaining quite a lot we could actually build quite a few more ships we are making 71 which is not bad uh, that is because France is at war with someone I, I think nope not France but Great Britain is at war with someone so they took away the trade fleet that they had over here and as you can see they are forwarding a ton of money over there it really pisses me off uh, Great Britain well apparently they still have their trade ships here I really do not like this well it will all change when we get when he we inherit Spain trust me it will all change we will build uh, a ton of um, uh, well merchant uh, market stuff uh, trade stuff god damn it we'll build a ton of trade stuff in all of this area right here as you can see we will gain a ton of uh, we'll gain a ton of uh, trade power in this zone I'll max out every single one of these provinces as a trade I think unless well, it's an omen. Oh, lovely. It's been a while since we got one of those. So, uh, Toledo actually produces gold, so I might actually build uh, other th stuff there. Madrid is... well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. So we discovered Shiribeshi. Well, we discovered it, but France is already ca taking care of it, so... Nothing really we can do. There is really nothing we can do. Which is a bummer. So, uh, we gained a core province. Good that is good and well let's keep the clock ticking let's see here well we'll boost this one and now we'll boost uh, first one then the other in here this is a wasteland Quebec is a wasteland and in here as well yep okay let's keep the clock ticking the Naples declare war on Salzburg uh, will they call us to arms no no, they won't. Well, actually, they will. Bohemia. Ooh, there are quite a few guys there. I'll accept 
uh, there, there is really nothing these guys can do to us, so <clears throat> hopefully uh, Naples will be able to win without our help. Alright, so we got another, well, not that bad, but not that good. I think it was this one. I am actually not sure. Uh, let's put uh, our armies with the generals, shall we? Because I really, really do not like having uh, that, that much uh, generals there without being assigned to something. So, I'll do this, it's more or less like this, so nothing really important. So, let's see, our five main armies have, uh, have generals, one, two, three, four, five, yep, and this one does not, but that one really is of no importance. Uh, well, we are gaining, well, let's see here, Masha Habit, alright, Spain apparently got this, and Netherlands got that, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, everything that Spain gets will be ours soon enough. If I have my way. So, let's see. Uh, apparently, Netherlands accepted peace. Overseas expansion against Champa. Netherlands claimed the defender of the Protestant faith. Why would we be notified by that? We are Catholics, so... Oh, reformed gets straight efficiency. <laughs> That is actually good. If you guys want to play a reformed Portugal, it would be hilariously hard to do so, but we will gain a lot more money from it. Uh, new Cardinals to France, so we lost one. We have three, and France has one. And there's another one that right there. We'll try and we'll try to steal it if we can. October, all right. Uh, let's see how how long three more years. Well, I might actually check uh, right uh, now. No, not right now, but as soon as January kicks in. December. One more month. Excellent year. Awesome. January. Let's see. Four years ahead. How, how much it would cost. 702 and this one 522 I'm actually going to take this one right now uh, it will well yep I'm going to take to take this one 522 it's it's good and we can gain another idea and I'm actually considering going for this one as well military power sure we'll do we'll go for it so let's pick first our units uh, let's pick whoa this is this is really really powerful god damn it I usually go for this one I think it has a, a, a lower shock value or red coat I really don't remember uh, hmm this is for offensive apparently uh, sheer staying power to keep them in the fight so they have a ton of morale which might be uh, helpful but they don't have that much well and this one's white coat resist cav cavalry charges hmm we are planning to go to war with france which has a lot uh, a lot of uh, well we'll pick red coats yep we'll pick red coats because why not 9-9 nine, nine. this one has a 10 defensive morale 8 offensive morale 6-6 six, six in shock and 6-8 six, in uh, in fire. This one says a 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, nine, nine. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of tricky. 6-8. Well, this one is the more balanced one, I think. Definitely. So, we will actually go for the blue coat. We'll go for the blue coat. There we go will fight friends with their units apparently now let's pick the idea shall we uh, I talked about picking the espionage ideas well uh, hmm miss so discontent may infiltrate administration real support efficiency plus 50% well uh, I'm really not sure uh, maintenance this would be good uh, let's go for a military idea rather We'll go for offensive or for defensive. Uh, let's go for defensive ideas. So we could get attrition. Yep, let's go for... Well, 
we really do need the force march though hmm and more exhaustion I'm really considering everything as of right now well not not that one but and not this one definitely but economic or in espionage I am considering them and offensive or defensive right now we could actually go for quantity this would give force limits modifier plus 33 percent manpower artillery costs ship costs mm, ship costs minus 10 percent that could come in handy cavalry cost mm -hmm -hmm. let's go for offensive we'll go for offensive i really do enjoy the force march and we'll get plus discipline so although historically portugal did have strong uh, spies hmm. god damn it i apologize this is taking so long i should have taken the time previously before i recorded the episode but land force limits land force limits hmm god damn it god damn it uh, i'll take offensive what the hell we'll go for offensive there we chose we have chosen let's go for offensive it's probably not uh, the best choice I could have made, but well, I w I don't want to bo to bore you guys that much. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I really hope you will forgive me for that lo for that uh, long decision. Well, that time I took to take that decision, I should have taken it faster. I should have thought about it previously, but it it was not to happen. So apparently uh, Burgundy, let's see how, well, Naples, let's see how this war is. Naples is losing, apparently, and uh, Burgundy, are you losing as well? Nope, you are winning, okay. Okay. And uh, by the way guys, I also chose uh, military because of this uh, the stats of our air uh, as you can see 213 that's not so good uh, we'll spend diplomatic power to advert it what the hell let's see can we get a better guy no nope. and that guy also died 3 3 colonial range oh no 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 never mind so we have no more inflation that is good let's keep the clock ticking uh, actually let me see the war score the score comparison well the war score the, the score right now we are catching up to France I wonder if we inherit Spain do we get their score if we did that would be <laughs> stupendous but I don't think we will but well we are ahead of Great Britain by a ton we are ahead of Burgundy well the four uh, the three slots right here are fighting uh, fairly well but over here they are dropping well apparently russia is gaining uh, on burgundy but we are the ones that are making the most score per month as of right now we have a ton of diplomatic renting look at that well our fleet is as is stupendous and we have a subject nation as uh, we have Spain as a subject nation we have diplomatic ton of diplomatic ideas we have a lot of merchants uh, in here admin renting let's see in admin well we are actually well as soon as Spain in and we inherit Spain we'll get more military renting we are at fourth and by a lot apparently all right let's keep going let's see well they are still all building overseas expansion against Khmer that's somewhere around here or there 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 there, there, there they are are you still at war with Great Britain yep but you are winning apparently Kamikawa core province lovely military leader died let's hire a new one Ooh, is let's see where uh, right there the first one all right let's go a beautiful statue that was that was fun sell it what the hell we need the money well we are making quite a ton of it anyway well not so much anymore 
yep we are building this fleet and they are not uh, gaining well they are not uh, making money for us so they are starting to cost us a little and we need 73 for this one and we could actually need to get this one into our grasp again we'll do so uh, we'll pay them it's only one stability so we will pay them we will boost stability back to plus two 144 that's not so much so let's do it it's a six point reduction from the start of the game with all our decisions apologies ah oh, god damn it we die has become so sustaining lovely we actually managed to colonize this one what is our mission Perak, okay Perak. right there okay let's build let's build a fort there a star fort and where can we colonize can we colonize anywhere anywhere at all I do not think so this is wasteland nope nope no no over here I know that we cannot oh we could colonize here and of course I will I want to block these two before these guys remember that they want to colonize those so there we go uh, they should know where placed this revolt risk in Zapotec lost effects of trading in tobacco we'll gain them soon enough there we go we can get a new idea let's see how long five years and this one 18 years so yeah five years well we we, we, we well uh, let's save and check as fast as possible because in five years we will not be able to get to 400 uh, points so we'll wait for a while before we chose that choose that idea although we will choose the military ideas as fast as possible because it's 18 years or 16 can't remember right now Constitu well they are still a republic speaking of which what kind of government can we change to we could change to monarchy which will give us recovery speed prestige decay and early le legitimacy nope and national manpower by defense corporation cost nope production and tax uh, nope discipline plus 10 percent yeah I, I enjoy this one the absolute monarchy i really do it's i think it's the best right now we have manpower and income from vessels but the absolute monarchy with 10 percent discipline i'm going to change the that and hopefully we will get a uh, legitimacy really really fast we are getting 3.3 per year so Hopefully it will. Uh, I enjoy that because of the discipline. If you play as a, a nation that has the Prussian ideas or the German ideas, I can't really recall what they are called. Uh, it's Brandenburg. Well, let's see. Prussian ideas. Uh, they get discipline. If you you can go all the way up to 160% discipline if you take the the right decisions. And France is at war with Japan. Whoa, Japan is going is going to be stomped, and Manchu is at war with Shun, and losing by quite a while, I would say. They are a celestial empire, or no, they are only an empire, noble republic, Ming celestial empire, Manchu empire, Korea kingdom, Japan empire. Okay. They're all except peace with Bohemia. And let's see, is Byzantium well kingdom. They are kingdom. Uh, we improve defenses in Prague. Protect against friends or establish a foothold. We'll establish a foothold, of course. <laughs> God damn it. It's really exploiting all of well, it's really ex we are exploiting uh, something here, but I really don't care. Uh, so there, it is done protect against France, the enemy of our enemy, well we'll not choose any mission as of right now and send them to patrol Bengal. Nippon, we can actually patrol Nippon but I cannot patrol neither this nor that. 
so no and we could actually send them all the way to the Americas couldn't we let's see the trade node of Japan no it comes from there god damn it it comes from Mexico there is no not a single trade node there that's actually accurate because the winds in the Pacific always blow from this side to this one that is why neither Japan nor China were able to colonize the Americas before we did the winds couldn't uh, didn't help them uh, and we actually have a better uh, we have an eight uh, well the winds in the Atlantic are uh, better in that regard because we can do this and when you come from India you can do all of this cross here and move up into there that is why Hamburg. Uh, oh, that's fine. Really, do not care. Well, we can still protect against France. Ninety-six. France has a night an eighty-six army. Ninety-six or eighty-six. A hundred now. Well, fine. Keep boosting it. Let's merge these fleets. Really, do not like having all those ones around here. Well, I actually selected a lot more than I intended to. There we go. So you have built everything and you guys have built everything. So let's put these all there. We'll merge them, send them there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And these are, nope, not the ones that I am looking for. Let's select this and merge so we need more 17 uh 17 guys 17 light ships so we'll do them there well we can actually go to up to three here three here three here three here three here this will give us a total of, of uh, 15 now 14 uh, oh, what, what 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 how much do i need 17 what the hell am I thinking? So, uh, 8, well, 15 and 17. Oh, actually, it's a... What the hell? <laughs> I'm really distracted right now. So, we could uh, take an idea, which I'm going to do, with leader shock plus one. All, all, all the leaders that we now hire will have a plus one leader shock to their random stats. So, that is handy. We gained the conquest against Pegu, apparently Patani wasn't able to maintain uh, their independence. Good harvest, good, let's invest money. We still have the same missions, I'm not going to do any of them. 8 more years, oh, Regency Council, okay, let's see, are we still in the personal union with Spain? Personal union with Portugal, yep. Good. So 12 years, you all 12 years old. We need uh, three more years apparently, and as soon as we get there, well, we'll take this one. As soon as we get to the three more years, we will uh, put a cut in this uh, episode. Let's see, Pepsi, uh, 89, please. Oh, 99. Ivory, good. A new cardinal. Uh, we lost the kernel apparently. Yep, indeed. Uh, let's uh, get this guy a bit more, just in case. There, 95. That should be good enough. We have three cardinals there, and France has one. Lorraine has another. Great Britain another, and Naples another. So that is fine. We won't gain, uh, lose uh, the control of the the papacy all that soon we will, apparently we have a truce with Ohm now I'm really not sure where they were probably here Naples Bohemia let's see Naples they are winning uh, Bohemia is winning she's a bummer although I am not going to move uh, my, my armies to help because I really do need 
to keep an eye on uh, the borders that we have right now. We have a lot of borders to defend. Uh, my fault entirely. We have a lot of colonies and as soon as we inherit Spain we will be back in the war game. Do not worry guys. But I wanted to inherit Spain before first because they have a ton of manpower. And I want uh, that manpower to well to put ourselves in the first rank if we can in military as well so you we can gain a ton more uh, score per month so Brittany accepted peace with Lorraine apparently well occupied by Burgundy this is occupied by Spain actually good job Spain uh, Austria accepted peace with Burgundy okay So what can we do? We could build... well, we can actually take this up right now. I'm not going to do so, I'm going to wait, because we still have uh, diplomatic ideas uh, to take advantage of, so... Uh, by the way, uh, I think uh, that idea that we took would be will be the last of uh, military idea, so from now on I am going to take uh, faster as soon as we get all of this done, we will be taking faster as soon as we can because then we will not uh, well, Lamu, sure, claim on Lamu we will not have anything else to spend our money our points on with the exception of buildings and we are uh, closing in on the last uh, part of the game we are in the last century already of the game well, with Ulf, mm, we'll sell it again the hell restore the holy sea uh, no 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 it will give us a lot of a lot of stuff but no 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 i'm not going to war against naples at least not right now uh, trading in slaves we lost it we will win it back uh, pretty darn soon do not worry uh, let's see how the trade is going before i take a cut in this episode 34 okay that is going well we are making uh, 14 gold here good in here whoa they are moving a lot of money up there 37 35 31 we need more ships here definitely that's this is one of the trade notes that we really 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 need to control so we will uh, build a bit more and send more t more fleet uh, to patrol there and actually here apparently as well or here here we need to put more fleets here as well well we do not have any fleet here correct correct we do not have any fleets here that is something we will have to uh, that we will have to uh, correct pretty soon we'll put our fleet there we'll put them in here come on god damn it come on come on come on as soon as they get here Ah, god damn it! I hate when this happens. Send him there. Oh, well, no, not that one. The trading in slaves happened to us again. Let's try and take that. Nope. All right, take these two as soon as I can. God, stop it! There. And what the hell am I thinking? I need uh, ten more. All right, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. There. I'm actually going to, to put these guys away from here and I'm going to send them to, well, let's send them to C uh, Cylon, maybe, or to the Gulf of Aden. Let's send them to Cylon. There we go. And, yep, we are getting close to our force limit, to our naval force limit. Uh, let's, Tahiti, so Tahiti, let's get trade power there. Uh, okay, as soon as this fleet is done and all merged, I am going to put a cut there. Uh, okay, so in this episode uh, we started uh, to make uh, the fleet whole again. Well, we started to know we continue to make it. We already have 50 heavy ships there. Uh, deny them. You're all, uh, speaking of which, I haven't actually seen... Oh, our Regency Council sucks. 201. Well, 
we'll see. Uh, this will be a race between who can finish first, this, uh, the fleet, or our heir to become of age. We'll see. Uh, we have uh, still a hundred legitimacy, which is good. Col two colonies self-sustaining. All right, so we finished colonizing everything we can. Actually, not yet. We can still colonize up uh, here somewhere. There. So we'll try to colonize there just for the sake of it. And there is actually there and maybe here as well. Uh, yep, there as well. Uh, but we will see. Uh, we could go to war against Swahili and try to annex them and get all of this coast. But we will see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see if we finish first. And okay, Sebastian. Ooh. Okay. And she's oh, of course. God damn it. Uh, the the thing I thought was well, we have a five 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 ruler. Let's put our uh, ruler. Uh, well, we have a five 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 heir. Let's put our ruler uh, in charge of the army. She's a woman. We cannot. <laughs> turn him into general so she will probably live forever and ever she will live until she's a hundred years old and this guy will die when he's 20 that <laughs> that is how the, the game works uh, well it god damn it okay guys so I'm going to take a break here I thank you so much for watching uh, and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider it giving it a thumbs up and until next time take care and goodbye.